Bonsoir, mes amis. Grüße, meine Freunde. Hello, everyone. This is Enzo Eigen of the Alliance for Loki. So this is a big 100 episode, and yeah, I decided to dress up for it. Figure I might as well make it uh, a little more exciting. You see that um, a banana raid is happening, so there'll be a bunch of people in here, or some coming off of uh, Brian's stream. Been watching that for the most part of the afternoon. And yeah, very excited for today's uh, today's episode. Um, let's do this. Let me just say hello to everyone in here. Uh, Unnamed on Bacant has been in here since the beginning. Paula Zed, Amino with a hey hey a hundred times. Um, Sleez is in there. Louis Aragon. Um, so so hey again. Billy D, Meta Snow. All these people. Darcy. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> what a well-dressed man. Yep. Yeah, I figured it was time to like look look a little different for this. So I put the business suit on and yeah, uh, we're going to do the business of opening crystals. Oh, thank you, Yuki. <laughs> um, wow, sharper than Gillette. Razor time. Um, so we're probably going to spend um, probably about like 15, 20 minutes. I'm going to do a little walk down memory lane before we get to the crystals. I know that's the, the huge draw of this, but... Um, yeah, let's uh, let's just. Uh, well, I just want to reminisce a little bit about uh, about my stream and where it's going and our Tom Draper. Well, thank you. Uh, I'm gonna say your name. Let's go. I know Jimin. Jimin wants to go instantly, but um, um, <laughs> you're here to see the Brian Grant. Well, he is nowhere here. So, um, okay. Well, so so this is stream number one hundred and. Um, my first stream was way back in, uh, I believe it was like uh, end of July, no, end of January 2019. And so I just have a little screenshot of it right here. You know, I had like 20 views on it and no face cam. And that was, uh, yeah, it was a good time. It really made me want to stream. I've sort of been thinking about it. I was a little intimidated by all you had to do to, um, to get a stream going, but it turned out to be really easy. I mean, just download OBS, download, um, yeah, just you and cable. I know there's a few other people in it. Um, <laughs> Daniel Wang, yeah, I know Brian, he he was having an amazing run today. Um, then my next milestone was at uh, episode 70, I had uh, the face cam added on. Oh, thank you, Tyrone. Tyrone, I love everyone too. Um, and that was sort of the next big milestone in my stream. Um, but really, uh, my actual first video was a long, long time ago. This is 2017 in May. Um, I just made a war video. It was terrible, but I just wanted to try to see what would happen if I made one. Thank you very much, Brian. Enjoyed your stream this afternoon. Wow, that was like Iron Man-esque effort that you did today. Well done. Getting one path is amazing in itself, and your perseverance incredible. Um, yeah, exactly. The hair will come back. Um, so this was a terrible war and like the really old, this is way before seasons, way before I was in any type of alliance. I can't remember what alliance I was in. And then, um, then after that, I actually tried to make some content videos and this is my most viewed video. Um, it was just one about some masteries and looking at the math behind them. And it still has the most views of any of my math, of my, uh, videos. So I was very impressed. <laughs> Thank you. For the uh, good looks so I had. Um, and then after that, uh, yeah, and so so that's sort of been my history in a very quick, very quick um, um, review. And so, so yeah, I've really enjoyed streaming. I've really enjoyed playing MCOC. I love the community. I love all the fun that I've had in this game, and it's just been great. And so, and so streaming's really been uh, really cool part that I just really never thought I'd do at all and so I'm very very happy to have discovered it. Love that you dressed up. Thank you. I feel like I might be the first person in MCOC history to like wear a suit and tie. I was hoping uh, I was hoping that it looked good. Um, nope, nothing missed. I was just sort of stalling for a few minutes just to you know just to get everything in. So so I'm going to open up a hundred crystals and oh thank you D Money Squad. Um, and so I've sort of been thinking about the probabilities. I mean, they aren't actually that great, even for 100. Um, you know, there's not too many five stars I really want, so the name of the game really is six stars. And um, 
Hello, is that a massage table? It is. My uh, girlfriend is um, trying to become a, um, a um, osteopathic osteopath, and so she is. Uh, she uses it. She experiments on me. <laughs> so, um, and so yeah, if you look at the probability, I mean, so this is just a little binomial distribution for for um, Dreamin's sake. And oh, Calwell once had a suit on. Ah, oh, darn! I was hoping that would be the first one. And Vex wore a suit. Okay, well. Anyway, it uh, it uh, yeah, it felt it felt right to put it on, um, and so I mean, there's a pretty reasonable chance I would get zero six stars. I mean, thirty six percent chance, um, and then you know, getting one six star is about the same. Two would be amazing, almost twenty percent chance. Yeah, three, pretty unlikely. Four, very unlikely, and five, almost minuscule. So. So yeah, we hope we get at least a six star, but again, I just wanted to do something sort of spectacular, so it's more for the spectacular. Oh man, Meta, you wore a vest and dress suit. Oh, that's awesome. Um, yeah, it's not a bad look. Um, luckily, it's cool enough I can do it. <laughs> um, and the hair matches with the suit, kid. I mean, this is what I wear to work, you know, every day. It's one of many, many of the, uh, well, one of the many suits I unfortunately have to own. And so, okay, well, let's just get started right away. And then, you know, for those of you who are just interested in the crystal opening, you can watch this. And then after that, uh, I want to do some dungeons with unnamed Umbacant. I'll probably have to do, well, I will have to do some, um, some, um, um, Alliance quest and <laughs> yeah, Brian wore pants once. Yeah, I almost debated not to wear in pants, but yeah, man, I can show you. I'm in the, the full suit tonight, so from head to toe, this is my like I call it my um, was it my used cars salesman suit because it's just a little bit different in color. So, but um, yeah, it's uh, yeah, you know, um, <laughs> when you walk through the castle grounds, of course, hello, Ricochet. Oh, thank you, Daniel Hanson, for subscribing. Greatly appreciate it. Greatly appreciate anyone who subscribes. So, we have a little appetizer. Um, is that your lucky suit? Yes. Um, so, off we go first to... to I did buy the hard-hitting crystal. Um, um, you're not in the U.S.? No, it's um, I'm in Switzerland is where I live. Uh, half Swiss, and I've lived here for 10 years. That suit costs more than all of Meta's possessions. Um, well, I will say the suit... So, we have... Um, a man, he's Indian, but he lives in Thailand. And basically once a year he comes to our company and makes custom-made suits. So this is a custom-made suit that he made. Um, the suits go, maybe the cheapest you can get is 400 francs, which is about 400 uh, US dollars. And the most expensive is about a thousand francs, um, but totally custom-made. So you come here and he'll take all your measurements and then he goes back to his shop. I mean, he visits a lot of different companies in Switzerland and Germany and then and then he goes back um, and makes the suits. And then, I mean, it takes a while, like three months, maybe I'll get one. So yeah, he makes really, really nice suits. And so they're great for work. I actually feel comfortable. I would say some of my suits literally feel like I'm wearing pajamas. I mean, they're really soft and nice. Um, what if you get fatter? Well, it's funny dreaming. Like I often like my dimensions change because I'm really act, um, active during the summer and spring and so I get thin and then the winter I just sort of like sit around and eat fondue. Greetings from Germany? Oh yeah. Sehr gut. Uh, you are close. Um, um, and so yeah sometimes when he comes he'll be like oh we need to make new measurements and so and so um, uh, yeah I really I always sort of disguise what I do for a living so no I mean I, I work for a Swiss company uh, it's owned by a couple of brothers and yeah, we're not too big, maybe uh, 150 employees, but um, okay, we're losing viewers, here we go. So here's the first five. These are the greater, greater, what you call it? Uh, I don't know what they're called. Let's see what we get. So we won't count these in the total. Mm, okay, well, that's all right. Two five stars. Is that Stark Spider-Man? Is that Max? I can never remember which Spider-Man's which. And a Yandu. I cannot lie, Yandu. Spin them. Oh no, it's a regular Spider Man. It's too bad. I want some Max Sigs. Bored to death. Yeah, none of these guys are. And Yandu. Okay. So there's a first round right there. Hard hitting crystals, that's what they are. Um, okay, and we'll see if I can figure out how to keep track of them. It's one of the things I want to try to do is every time I get them update my uh 
uh, how many I have. Okay, a lot of these things are stream new. Okay, so I have bought 100 Cavalier Crystals. There it is, 100 of them. And um, spin them? Okay, well, maybe spin, maybe I'll spin the first 10 and then we'll pop the next several 10s and see. But I guess we can slow play it a little bit. You got five star Carvus and duped him. Oh, nice. So our first one is be great to start off with a six star right away, but it's going to be a three star. Three star Thor. So we'll spin these first ten, and I might just pop the rest. Spinning seems like it might take the rest of our lives. Or let's see, maybe we'll spin five. Stated Idol Vice Lodge. Ah. Spin 50 and pop 50. Oof, I don't know, spinning 50 seems like it's going to take way too long. I don't want this to be torturous. Oh, I mean, even that Cyclops, I think I already have them though, so. So as far as like things I want out of a six star, really I just want new six stars. Um, just to um, just to have a, uh, you know, more arena fodder, basically. This, I mean, of course, Corvus would be amazing. Dupe and My Ghost would be amazing. Um, there's several other ones. That would be really cool to get a, you know, but, um, okay. So I actually have totally lost track of what I have. Um, got Diablo twice. So let's go to five and then we'll start doing some popping. And then maybe we'll take a look. Ooh, yeah, six star game changer. Cyclops would be that. Um, and then let's see. Oh, come on, something good. You might see before I do. Okay, five stars, all right. Um, I don't know if I'll make enough six star crystals. I'm at uh, 6,000 now. And so I think we're sort of calculating. Oh, thank you, Paul, you're keeping track. Yeah, I totally have lost track already. Just, <laughs> I guess I won't use that text up there. But yeah. Papa Luke, yeah, no, he's great. Now, I have him as a six star. I'd love to awaken the six star, actually. He's one of the few six stars I wouldn't mind awakening. And so, Ah, Dreamin's favorite champion, Morningstar. Okay, so we did five right there. Yeah, I used Luke Cage forever, my six star in Alliance Quest. He was really good because I was on the Cal Caltrops path. Okay, let's pop 10 and see what happens. There goes 10. Looking for the one new. That would be exciting. Um, there's not too many five stars I don't have. Nope. <laughs> You're looking pretty bad. Okay, at least you got one five star. That's about the right odds. So lots of four stars, and then one five star. Ooh, was that 180? Boy, it's gotten a high sig. Okay, let's pop another 10. No, thank you for the offer. Uh, open 10 crystals. And, okay, no news, bad sign. Okay, two five stars, that's all right. I mean, all of this is gonna add up to a lot of crystals. Hello, Kanga Jango. Welcome, welcome. Get a six-star morning star. Oh, I'd love a six-star morning star. That'd be amazing. <laughs> Emma says, say it like a croissant. That's true. Good luck. Thank you. Okay, let's do another 10 and see what it is. I'm really worried. I've had really bad crystal luck. I'm not going to get a six-star, but again, it wouldn't be too out of the realms of probability, but um, it would be so much sad. Oh, no six stars. Okay, still going with the five-star. I feel like I'm Sort of one up on the five stars. Got a Hawkeye. I can't even remember what he is at. He's at uh, sixty. Yeah, not too bad. Okay, let's do ten more, and then we'll take a look at those six stars. You exited out of the offer without buying it. Um, hmm. I saw Endgame today. Me too. Actually, I saw it yesterday. I had downloaded and, and saw it on. Um, on my iPad. Can't stay, uh, abomination. Oh, your neck is still dead. Much love from France, nice hearing. Oh, one new. <sighs> Who could it be? Let's scroll across and see. Is it the six star or is it some five star I don't have? Oh, Green Goblin. <laughs> hooray, hooray. <laughs> Thank you, Scarlet Spider-Man. <laughs> hooray. Well, you know, I'm really happy. Again, I, I don't really care too much what it is, but uh, you know, I've always sort of liked Green Goblin. He's a cool champion, and he sits on like everyone's defense. So, so yeah, at least I made the odds. At least I got the one percent. So, so yeah, it's great. Uh, and it's, it's level up and all these good things. Um, let's just go to the six stars real quick, and then we'll continue with the crystal opening action. 
Um, so I have a really nice six star lineup. Um, so that makes 35. I'd love to get one more, just have nice 36. So Domino is my only rank two. Uh, Karnak I've duped twice, Mephisto duped once. I actually really like Mephisto. Wasp I'd love to dupe, Namor. I got him out of one of those five uh, five offer crystals like this one when his uh, his feature Grandmaster crystal was around. Uh, Nihilus's brother is that um, I could Daniel. Venom the Duck who's super cool I was so psyched just pulled him one day. Yandu unfortunately I got double dupe and he was my last fe featured uh, six star crystal. Nick Fury I got from a featured six star crystal would love to dupe him. I mean just one dupe and his ability is so good. Nightcrawler, I've gotten once and a dupe. Um, he's really cool. I actually love Nightcrawler. Uh, Captain Marvel movie came from the feature crystal. She's amazing. Korg, hmm, he's all right. Actually, I've been playing with Korg more and more in offense, and I find he's actually pretty interesting. I used him in uh, 6.26 on the uh, skill path, and yeah, he was useful. Captain America Infinity Wars, of course, awesome. Would love to dupe him. Doc Ott, hmm, don't care. I would not want to dupe him. Heimdall, Bishop, Rolk, Hela, all pretty good champions. Cole Obsidian, he was one of the ones I was trying to do from the featured Grandmaster Crystal. Love him. Um, Ghost, yeah, Ghost is, what can I say? The best of the best. So psyched after it was a six star. Um, would love to get her duped. Yellow Jacket's been duped. Killmonger's the other one I really want to get duped. Um, actually, I have the most uh, tier five. Crystal Catalyst is skill. I'm halfway there, so maybe he would be my first rank three. And then the rest are just all sort of fine characters. You know, Angela's cool. I like her. Vulture, Civil Warrior, eh, Thor Jane Foster. Actually, it's one of the few characters I really don't like. <laughs> Ghost of Mistake. Uh, Cold Obsidian, a muted abomination. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's exactly what it is. Uh, Luke, Deadpool, Dormammu. Uh, Dormammu is actually really cool. I've always liked Dormammu. I just wish he hit a little hard, harder. Killmonger's Vengeance Ridden, yes. Uh, of course, Iron Fist is interesting. Um, Dreamin likes him, I believe. Um, Cyclops, blah. Beast, I've always liked Beast. Like, if I do my Beast, I wouldn't mind it. Storm, Black Bolt, Hawkeye, and there's that Green Goblin, so. Okay, let's go back. Let's see if we can get another one. <laughs> Dormammu, the thick boy, yes. Dormammu, uh, Heisey loves Dormammu, so I always, I wish I could give him my Dormammu, just because I know. So let's just spin five just to go, so let's do an even 50. Unnamed Umbracant, I'm proud to have pulled my ninth six star. Nice, unnamed Umbracant. I was off to a good streak where I wasn't getting any dupes, but then now the dupes have hit me. And so, oh, I was hoping for the, for the what you call it, the beast. Nope, Victor, we are just about halfway through. Uh, got to one six star as a green goblin who yeah, again, um, I just want any new new six stars just because, um, yeah, I just want for Arena mostly. And also, oh, that Angela. Actually, duping the Angela is sort of like a, a mixed blessing. I mean, it's always good to dupe characters, but her dupe ability might be one of the worst in the games. Um, and so, yeah, it's always, it's always like, you know, if you pull a six star and it's a fair dupe, oh, look at that. Old Buster. Well, thanks, Victor. I know I decided to dress up for the stream today. I want to give it. Uh, want to give it a. Um, um, I don't know. A different look. Might be the last time. I sort of like the uh, the casual look for the stream. But um, thanks, B Manny. Yeah, we got one six star. Would love another one. Hello, Dap. How is your clubbing? Did you uh, do well? I hope so. And. Let's see, yeah, just a regular old three star. Yeah, I'll have to go back and look at all the, the crystals once uh, the stream is over. And last but not least is this is number 51, not, not least. I'll just say the last of the spinners and then we'll do some popping. Oh, look at the six stars. Dreaming was saying, when you see a lot of six stars, that's, uh, that's bad. 101 maximum six stars in the game. Wow. Okay, that's good to know. Um, yeah, I would say, what am I up to? That's 35, so not even close. Okay, let's pop 10 more. Let's see that one new. Okay, let's see. We got a, uh, a Punisher. Okay, so at least we've always gotten uh, one, um, one 
five star, so that's good. Um, shot an 80, oh my god. Nice, Dream I'm dreaming, adapt, <laughs> crazy, <laughs> crazy, crazy. Such a good golfer. I feel like to shoot that is just so hard. Okay, no new, uh oh, I'm worried there's not gonna be any five stars. Oh, whew, okay, Jane Foster saved us, saved us at the end. Okay. And I do move to the 300. <laughs> yeah, I probably would too. No, thank you for the rank up. 30 left. Let's do it. 10 more. Come on. Another six star. That way we have the perfectly uh, two five stars, I see. But we got Jugs, uh, Electra, who I actually really like. And I'm getting close to getting some SIG 200, some natural SIG 200 six stars, but I haven't yet. I think Cable might be 180. Might be the closest. All of my other ones I put in a, um, what you call it, six stones in. Okay, 20 left. Let's see. Okay, two five stars. Can't complain. Uh, oh, this is first time awakening. Interesting. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm actually really excited. I've been wanting to awaken Phoenix. Ah, that makes me really, really happy. Um, Phoenix is one of the characters I've been considering just prestige wise to take up. And so, yeah, that's awesome to awaken her. Um, huh, two awakenings there. First time awakenings. Okay, down to 10. We're going to spin them. And we will see what we get. Um, see if we can get one more six star. It'd be so amazing just to finish it off. But if not, again, totally content. Four star Havoc. Yeah, small suggestion, maybe mod one or two responsible peeps, keep an eye on things. Maybe dab, dreaming, and be man. And, ooh, that's a great suggestion. Um, um, yeah, you know, usually my stream does not have 177 watching. Usually it has like 10 watching, so it's not too much of a problem. But um, but yeah, um, actually, I, f I feel like the chat's been going really well. Maybe uh, it's you know, so far so good, but you're right. If it's ever going to be big numbers, then, then I'm going to have to have some some mods to to keep a watch on it um, it is hard to um, to um, to try to uh, yeah, keep up with it when there's a lot of people in there and oh Magneto Meta's favorite Magneto I can't remember if he's high or not let's see what he's at I don't think he's that high yeah only a hundred only a hundred okay that's good and really interesting to see where my six star shards are at. I mean, if I have 10,000, maybe I'll open a six star too. Thank you, Smoggy, for subscribing. Really appreciate it. No, actually, I don't have cufflinks. Um, I had some a long time ago. They're just too much of a pain. And I found I lose them instantly. So, so I go cufflinkless. Oh, that six star. Psylocke would be amazing. I love, I love Psylocke. Hello, Daniel. Welcome to the stream. Doing a big, big old crystal opening. Done 95 of them. This is the 95th one right here. Pocket square? No, I don't go pocket square either. <laughs> um, I try to keep it, I guess, as simple as I can. I know pocket squares would look really good. Oh my god, if I got another Yandu, again, I'd be such bittersweet. I'd be like so many, so many Yandus. Um, but yeah, I don't. No, no, clip on tie, please. Please, the tie is totally, totally real Talon. No. Um, what I use, a double Windsor is my preferred knot. And Le Champion. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Jim. You tell him. <laughs> um, yeah, actually, there's a really cool knot I learned. It's the, um, it uh, was invented by a physicist. That's just really hard to tie. And so every now and then I try to tie it. But I have to like follow the YouTube video like for six hours to get it tied. So, mod me, I can bear that for oh, Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> I have so few viewers as it is, Dreamin. I don't know if I can handle handle anyone being banned. Um, and so, let's see, let's see. Okay, down to the last three. Come on, six star. Any six star, so amazing. Oh, three star carnage. Awaken my four-star Symbiote Supreme for a premium. Is that awakening good or not? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you get a four-star for a premium, that's amazingly good. So, um, Symbiote Supreme is a super good champion too. So if you're 
using four star and still he is top notch. I bet Heisey has clip-ons. <laughs> I think this should be a look in New York. We should all go, um, we should all go in suits. I mean, that'd be really, really cool. Especially if we all had the same suits. <laughs> Dream with a wrench. Okay, here's the last one. So this is a hundred down, just like that. The last one. Can we get a six star at the very end? It would be amazing if we did. But if not, we've at least gotten one, which has been good. 200 for stream 200? Yeah, maybe. Maybe I will. I haven't thought that far. It took me, you know, over half a year to get here, so plenty of time to think about that. And the last one is a three star in ILS. And that's as good as ending as you could get. <laughs> um, yeah. Modding Dream is like giving the garland to Thanos. Yep. Yeah, so there you have it. So that was 100 crystals. And it seemed like it worked out pretty well to the averages. Let's take a look at the shards. Oh, we do have enough to open a six star crystals. Last one just got <laughs> the baby to bed. Oh, sorry, Reflection. I think I'm gonna open a six star though. Um, statistically, much better luck popping. Yeah, people always tell me that. Look at these five stars. So I've been racing with uh, Rico. I don't know if he's in here or not. So we're hoarding off five star shards until Comic-Con. So that's two months away. I'm hoping to get to 300,000. I think I will, and I'll probably open up featured. So, um, um, yeah, I'm pretty excited for that. Symbiote good awakened or non-awakened? I don't think it really needs to be awakened at all, to be honest, Daniel. It just gives you a stagger after so many seconds. It's good. Thank you, Snow. Thank you very much for subbing, and uh, I appreciate you dropping in. Um, we are going to open a six-star crystal, though, because I might as well, might as well get 36 um, total champions hopefully unless i do one of course and so yep okay let's just do it i'm gonna let this spin all the way out um let me just go look at my uh, six star sort of um six star things and look my want so ghosts corvus um are sort of my top two um after that eh, there's nothing that really stands out to me um proxima actually i like nebula and sentinel a lot do be my wasp would be good I love Captain America World War II, I'd love to get him, Aegon, Symbiote Supreme, Void, Sabretooth, Red Hulk, Thor, actually Massacre would be amazing, Psylocke, Omega Red, Emma Frost, so many I want, uh, Dormammu or Morningstar would awaken my Dormammu, uh, Heimdall, Phoenix, and I don't really want a Heimdall, so Gamora, I really actually need a, um, a, um, a what you call it, a, uh, I'm trying to think, a um, Guardians of the Galaxy, so even if I got more i'd be super happy so okay big moment oh dark oh, look at these diablo love havoc oh my god love the havoc mr sinister night thrasher yeah actually night thrasher would be really cool um i've been playing night thrasher just a fair bit i have him as a you start your back okay just in time for a six star we just made it to a six star so here goes a new one would be amazing. Feeling Angela? Ooh, if I got an Angela. Yeah, again, be bittersweet, be awakening on her, but um, yeah, it'd be pretty sad because uh, I might have her. But this would be so nice. And I'd have 36, I'd have totally even teams. Watch me get a Green Goblin. That would be pretty uh, pretty unbelievable, get a Green Goblin. But um, yeah, hopefully someone new. That's, that's really where the bar is at. And then if it's anything better than that, that's just extra happiness. And so Yandu, oh my God, Yandu would be my six and I'd be like having be manny luck. Um, yeah, Yandu, Karnak, or Yellow Jacket. Those are probably the ones I would want the least. Whew, this has been spinning for a long time. Makes me so, so nervous. Okay, this is going to be, oh no. Oh, 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 my heart, my heart, oh my God. <laughs> That was amazing. I was sure it was going to stop on Deadpool, Deadpool X-Force and I'd do film. My heart was about to go kaboom. <laughs> oh man, so happy. Yep, join the six star Agen squad. Oh, this has been great. Yeah, no, I'm really, yeah. What an amazing, amazing rollover. Um, thank you, Unnamed Umbacant. I'm really, really excited for that. Um, oof, gotta awaken him now, I know. I know, yeah, that's an amazingly good pool. Yeah, so good, so good. Um, wow, my gold, I think I got way, uh, actually I didn't get a match, I thought I saw 9 million. Well, <laughs> CEO can burn, well if I was, <laughs> I would be buying a million Cavalier Crystals. 
So that's the end of the crystal opening for tonight. I'm still going to go back to my usual stream. Um, oh, did you call Aegon? Oh, nice. Oh, I saw someone said Aegon. Ah, fruits boom. You are wise. A prognosticator. Um, you know, usually I just do some arena normal stuff. I'm going to play dungeons with unnamed Umbacant. And so if you're just here for the crystal opening, you know, of course, you know, I'm used to, again, having small audiences. If you want to stay and watch more, you are absolutely welcome to. Um, I should go get rid of this text since I didn't use it just to get it out of the way. And see if I can do that without breaking my stream. Um, I've tried something new with the music tonight. I actually tried to put, um, tried to put, uh, it on several tracks on loop, so I hope the music is better than usually I just play one song over and over again. Um, you want to do AQ and AW before dungeons? You know, they haven't posted the, uh, it always takes us a while to get out um, AW and AQ assignments, and so I think we're all right. So let's go ahead and do dungeons now, named Unbacant. Um, it's probably more fun for people to see dungeons too. Let me just go look at that Aegon. Oh, my heart is still like, <laughs> still uh, slightly uh, erratic from that near miss of, um, of, of Deadpool X-Force. Oh, I can't imagine awakening him. Um, 13 five stars and one six star. Oh, okay, good. I'm glad you're keeping track, Paul. This is, uh, no, I feel really happy with this opening. I would say, um, yeah, I'd say it went as well as I could expect, if not better. And so, no, I'm extremely happy with it, and so, yeah, it's good. So, off to do some dungeons, uh, named Unbacant, uh, and often, um, often is in my stream, almost always, in fact. He's uh, my Schweitzer Bruder, he also lives here in, um, in Switzerland, so yeah, it's great. Great having, you know, Swiss viewers and other Europeans in here. Um, uh, what side do you want to take? Uh, I don't know if I care too much. Um, I don't have suicides on, so so I'm not worried. Um, yeah, I mean, let's say I could take Nick in. Uh, what is it? Skill? No science. Oh, there's the invite. Okay, sorry, let me get out of here. Leave, and I'm always worried about uh, about uh, um, what am I worried about? I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> no. So let's see. Yeah, if you tell me either either chat and I'll see it. I don't even remember. I don't know if I have a huge care which one. I think I can go either one pretty pretty well. What am I using? My Captain Marvel. I just she's a champion. I've been trying to learn so, and I could use my champion too. So I guess I would choose tech if I had to. It's tech all right. Um, I just type this in the chat real quick. Uh, tech okay for me. Can I take? Can I take tech. Um, let's see. I could do tech with my four-star Corvus. Got to room five with him. Oh, okay, that's fine. You do tech then, and I'll do uh, science. I'm happy to use my Nick Fury. So let's do Nick Fury. Um, ooh, we could put core to the test. Uh, I've already used up my blade, haven't I? Yep, I have used up my blade. Um, let's see. Omega's always good. Uh, I'm trying to think. Who else? I'm going to frost it really well. You know, I might bring in Captain Marvel. She has a really good synergy, and she's really fun to play. Um, what do you think? Neymar? I feel like I want to use a champion I haven't used too much. I haven't used Medusa for a long time. Yeah, actually, I actually have a much better, much better tech. Um, could use my Domino. Uh, yeah, let's take a Domino. I haven't really used her that much. Anyone else? Use super cool synergies. Ooh, I wish my Quake was higher. I'll take her. Um, how is he on sign? He's, I'm sure, fine. He's fine on everything. I'm named Bombacant. Uh, happy going in with this team. Uh, you take, you take a uh, tech with your Corvus. Um, and <laughs> and yeah, I'll try it with this team. No, um, or well, you do whatever you want. I'm always, I'm always happy to do it either way. Um. How's he on science? I'm trying to think if there's anything in science. Actually, he's really good against Electro, to be honest. Um, okay, fine. I think we're all set. You got your super cool tech team. I mean, your tech team, and I have my. Uh, I'll go the science route. And we'll see how it works. Um, yeah, dungeons are really good. It's just such a good time to be able to like have fun, play some pretty challenging nodes, and fight, and so and fights. 
So I really, I actually really have enjoyed doing dungeons lately. Um, yesterday I played them with unnamed Umbacant and did pretty horrible. So we'll see. We'll see how well. Maybe the suit will help. Feels a little bit constricting though. Be able to swipe as well as I should be able to. <laughs> okay, let's see. So I'm going science. Uh -huh. So let's see. We have solid choices here. Recharge. Mm -hmm. No blocking it. James, 50% power every second. Ooh, I've always liked them. Ah, I like this one. Protect your shield. Okay, that one's pretty easy. Uh, pilfer. No, that one's even easier. Okay. Take down number three. Let's uh, see. Let's start with Domino. I just haven't played a lot of Domino, so let's see how she is. Hello. Uh, I got a really struggle against Wasp. Wasp is always such a an annoying fight just because of that evade. Yeah, I should have brought in. Yeah, I think my next rank five might be a Spider Gwen just to have like a evade counter. So I'm going to try to get her energy up pretty high. Let's see if we can't get an SP1 here. Oh, come on, Roke. Thank you. One thing that Brian is absolutely amazing is the way he can like carry on a conversation and play. Like I never play that well on stream, I feel, just because I'm always trying to talk and, and half the time I don't concentrate well enough. And just at six. Yeah, she doesn't do much damage until she builds up. I guess I can go to binary now. Uh, let's just pop the special. I shouldn't push him to his SP2, but. Yeah, maybe that was a mistake. Let's see what this does. Does it start eating away my charges? Now I can heavy, oh, I got a ton of charges now, okay. I gotta bait out his SP too, unfortunately. Oh, come on. No, you want to throw it. Oh, I just got hit in the face. Oh, jeez, that totally beaten. No, I'm going to push him to his XP2 again. Well, maybe I'll be able to kill him. Nope. See, hopefully I can kill him. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't very good. Let's see. You should parry more. Enzo, do you like superhero shows? Two charges. Nice. Nice. Do you like superhero shows? Dark. Um, do you have Amazon Prime? I don't. I mean, Amazon Prime in Europe, unfortunately, is not uh, not that usable. Um, but yeah, everyone's been talking about the boys. I, I watch so little TV, it's crazy. Okay, we'll go, go right to binary charge with her and see what we can do. Should parry more so you can build up. Okay, good to know. Let's just get her. She One parry should put her in binary. Okay, now if I can just build up to my SP2, should be an absolute killer. Okay, yep. And then with 24 charges. I'm gonna take the boss on name Umbracant, heal up this Captain Marvel, and well, I'll quickly look at your characters. I bet you're, well, you're probably way ahead of it. Yeah, yeah, you're totally fine. Um, yeah, Captain Marvel movie. Once you get those uh, binary ignitions, she seems out of control, strong. Just tell me in chat if you want the next boss, but I figured you're doing well. Yeah, she's pretty cool. It's very. It's, Ah, oh, you've surprised, okay. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think. Um, you know, to be honest, today I was sort of uh, just taking a really easy day. And I, um, what did I do? I, um, oh, no, I got us just throw this and be the end of him. I was reading uh, X Men comics just because we've been doing so much talking about X Men comics. I talk a lot with Lord Shadow about X Men comics. And so there's this one series called Astonishing X-Men. It was maybe 2004, I believe. And oh, I mean, if you like comics and you haven't read this series, it is the best series. I read like, just binge read like one through 25. 
and oh i mean it's just unbelievably good i mean the writing's amazing the story is just incredible it's it's to be honest something like the best movie slash book because i've ever read um oh bill Hader. Oh, i love bill Hader. he's the one from his he the one from saturday night live yeah he's amazing the Oscillating Buffet, okay, it's all right. Oh, Spider-Man, all these evade ones. Special Lock 1, Bull Cup. Oh, sort of hard to decide. Let's go with um, Oscillating Buffet, next buff. Uh, yeah, let's do that one. So he would take down three. Yeah, I forgot the science is gonna have all these evade champions. I needed to, uh, I needed to, um, your French has just got to another level. Oh, nice, are we super best friends now? Her name, I'm Bekant. Oscar Seichnitz, as we say in German. Um, Mandarin, when you did the trivia, was it you or did uh, Katie actually submit her, um, her what do you call it, her bio biography? House of M? I have uh, read it, but it's been so long and I saw it. I have it on one of these like, you know, Marvel comic apps where I could buy individual comics and I had bought House of M and I just saw it there today. I was like, oh, I need to reread this um because it's been so long i've sort of forgotten but yeah i remember that that's been absolutely amazing perfect okay now let's throw the uh that stuns him well it's such a long stun it's finished with 21 charges wow i'm really really loving this captain marvel you're right once you can get a build up she is just a powerhouse um yeah house of m i remember was super cool um yeah, I need to read it again. It was a pretty short series, if I remember. It was only like four or five comics. Um, let's see. Okay. I'm going to keep on going with her. Oscillates. He gets really aggressive with the Fury and Buffet. Okay. Hopefully, we can just, again, she would be indestructible pretty quick. Thank you, I Lack Skills. Thank you. I'm, I'm really excited to have done 100 episodes. Thanks for very psyched. Nah, I need to get my, uh, there it is. Oh, come on, I need to parry him one more time. And then I'm invulnerable. See, I always forget about the invulnerability. So, yeah, go ahead and hit me all you want. I'm invulnerable, which is really cool. Oh, I sort of messed up on that. Oh, yeah, really didn't play that very well. I'm not getting stunned for so long. Oh, I didn't kill him. Okay, why well, not worry about the evade? Oh, I'm losing all my charges though. Okay, well, oh, I have 17. How did I get so many 17? Oh, you have approximate. Oh, okay, that's, yeah. Maybe maybe we'll switch the sides and unnamed Unbekant. I mean, I'm sort of set up for either one. Um, how are you doing? Let's take a look. Oh, you're in great shape. I will go deal with this guy. Keep on healing up Captain Marvel. Oh, no, she only has 11. Hmm, I thought she had a lot more. Yeah, it's hard to believe a uh, hundred episodes have passed. Actually, I thought I'd had the webcam on for a lot longer. The face cam, when I look back, is only 30 episodes ago. Um, the face cam is so nice, to be honest. I mean, you know, I was sort of watching some of my older ones, again, going down the trip down memory lane, and yeah, it's okay without uh, without a face cam, but it's... um, um uh, Yeah, it's, it's just, yeah, something is so much better about having the face cam. It just makes it so much more alive and fun. Uh, 17 is how many you started with, not finished. Ah, okay. Keep using heavy as the top of the charges. Okay. Yep, I got a ways to learn how to play Captain Marvel. I think it's the heavies when she has the binary that keeps them up. Is that correct? Or is it any time you can do a heavy? Um, okay, got another spider person. How many episodes are you doing per season? Um, I haven't even thought. I don't know if that's a question to be Uber Soul if I'm doing seasons. 12k means with Corvus. Why don't you go take the left side? Because your corpus is perfect for that spider person. So you you go left. Yep, you go left. And so I'll go right now. Uh, power reserve. Okay, pilfer. It's fine. I don't mind that. And backup recovery has. You take down two, please. Um. Take down four. Okay. And when she's in ignition, the heavies add three charges. Okay. I will try to get her into ignition. Does it make sense to put her into, like, like I could put her into ignition right now um, at 17, or should I wait and try to build her up? I just need a couple of uh, heavies, and then she'll be built up again. 
Oh, we'll just build her up again. It's 21. Man, she gained, I feel like she's gained power really quick. Okay, one more. Okay, now an ignition, vulnerable, do the SP3. Assume she can tank an SP3, build her up. Okay, thanks, Paul. Um, when she has her her invulnerability, just like Luke Cage can. No, it doesn't matter. 1% still invulnerable. Oh, never mind. Totally dead. Whew. Oh, man, crazy. The way you get one Fury per five charges. The Fury is where our damage comes from. If you go into ignition. Oh, okay, okay. Good. Another. That seemed really powerful. Maybe it's just the SP3 and binary. It was so crazy, but... She seemed like she absolutely rocked that Iron Patriot. 24, okay, it's not gonna take long. So explosive personality, I uh, can't remember what I was choosing. Uh, let's see. Hi, DJ, I'm sorry, DJ. Did you come in at the, my usual time? Oh, man. Okay, she's, she's totally invulnerable now. We'll just go, go into him crazy style. Five, okay, let's see what this does. Oh man, five, Woo. Did you miss, yeah, I'm sorry, DJ. Ah, so for those of you who don't know, DJ is one of the people who's been on my stream the longest. He does a lot of my graphics. He has an amazing, uh, he does uh, trivia um, each night. He has silhouettes and questions. So he's been so great um, helping me out with my stream. And, um, and I know he wanted to open a five-star tonight. So if you want to still open it, um, be my guest, DJ. Um, you know, I'm happy to, to uh, be part of that. Is that. Oh, uh-oh. That doesn't look good. I named Mon Bacant. Let's see. Was it Proxima you went in there with? Oh, no. Your Corvus took it. Um, yeah, and again. Who was that champion? Oh, I'll put a poster up. Uh, you're opening it. Okay. So, DJ, this is... He... he I think this is only his 10th or 11th five star. And he really wants a Hyperion, really wants a Hyperion. Dupe is Omega Red, does all sorts of things. Uh, what do you want unnamed on Bacant? You want me to, you want to take the boss or does it make sense for me to take him? Um, I'll, I'll take him unless you say otherwise. Um, ran out of charges, he evades and I didn't expect, oh, oh yeah, that's the worst. No, that's the problem with Corvus. If you can't get him in those charges, then yeah, it's it's not so good. Okay, well, I'll take the boss, and then we can decide what we want to do. I'm happy to quit and go back in. It's totally fine. We just have to do another three rooms, which is no problem. Um, but whatever you want to do. So give me a response in the chat just so I know after I finish this boss fight. So if you want to keep on going, fine. And if you want to start again, also totally fine. So DJ's opening his five-star crystal. Spider can't, uh-oh. Does that mean you got the original Spider? Oh, Carnage, ah. Carnage is, after his buff, he's, he's a pretty reasonable character. So I would say that's a very good opening. Um, you know, I think you could definitely use him in a lot of places. He's actually the only five star I don't have. So your account is more unique than mine <laughs> in a way. Um, oh, you didn't open it up. Oh, that was yesterday. One more with Venom should be fine, okay. Um, you did open it. Okay, what did you get, DJ? Let's hear. You didn't open it. <laughs> Captain Marvel is greater than Ghost. Ah, nice. Um, let's take a look at the champions and see which side you want to go on. Uh, well, I guess, yeah, you, it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll go left. I'll go back on the science. And so, explosive personality, bulk up. Okay, those aren't too bad. And Hue Reversal, Buffet. Ooh, Buffet. Am I healing? Not really. Ooh, I like that. Okay, let's take down three. That seems more fun. Both champions. Yeah, I have Willpower, but unless Luke Cage, I guess he could. If he hits me, I'm definitely losing some health to Willpower, but take down no one. But meanwhile, Captain Marvel is just crushing everything in our path, so it doesn't seem to matter too much. 24 charges, one, one, what you call it, one parry, and we're off and running. Oh, good, and I particularly just like Ant-Man. I'm in 
vulnerable, so I guess it doesn't matter. And just like sit there. I think it's better to go to my special five or special, I mean special three or special two. Let's do special two. Let me get this done. Whoops. Oh man. Whoa, I sort of lost control of what I was doing there. Oh man, I'm gonna lose all my charges. I better kill him. Oh. I didn't. I took some risks there. Probably a little too many. Yeah, I'm gonna lose a lot of charges. I'm down to six, okay. Hello, Archie. Archie the best. Welcome to the stream tonight. I didn't open it as I was talking to Scarlet. I typed really quick. Okay, no worries, DJ. Um, okay. So, that was a good fight. Yeah, I hope, DJ, tell, tell us what your champions that you really want are. I uh, know Hyperion, I know Omega Red. I assume Ghost, the usual Ghost Corvus. Um, you know, people don't like Blade as much anymore, but I still feel like I get a lot of use out of Blade. And so, um, yeah, I really like him. Loading it now. Good. Okay, so we got Hero Rolls from the Fae. Um, uh, yeah, I guess let's go with her again. I need to build up her her charges. Paul Z S Z wishes you luck as well. So, yeah, absolutely. I hope you get a really good champ, DJ. This is so great. Yeah, so we're gonna build her up. Let the healing kill him. <laughs> Generations not helping them too much. And this parry. He's back to being unstoppable. That's not perfect. One more parry, and we'll be ready for battle. I'm just gonna pop my SP3 then, right then. Oh, look at those, look at all those ones I'm taking. I forgot about uh, what you got. I guess I have that, um, can't remember what that, um, what that mastery is called, the one that slowly gives you a little, little bit of health, but it's ticking down on me. Okay, it should be indestructible now, right? Nope, I'm not. Oh, I thought it was indestructible. Oh, I sort of messed up that. Let's see. Okay, to build up the SP2. Huh, I wonder why I wasn't in struggle. Oh, maybe I, maybe my SP3 gave me the binary charge, but not the. Uh, oh, what am I trying to say? But not the. Um, but not from getting the 25 parries. Oh, uh, sort of messed that up. And that is indestructible. Ooh, be careful. This fight's been a little more, a little more difficult than I anticipated. And he died. <laughs> um, Sal, that's it, Kyle Brown. Why does your stream seem stretched? Um, I, I have stretched it because I haven't quite forgot how to do the dimensions correct. Um, oof, do you have a poison immune? I don't really have a poison immune. Oh no, Captain Marvel's poison immune, never mind. Um, yeah, exactly. What Paul has said, has said Uber Soul. Um, did you take the boot, the, the boss in room five? Yes, I can. I have like three level five characters who should be able to get through it, especially Nick Fury since he has two lives. So yeah, I think we're good to go to room five. And I'd like to build the uh, charges, but I don't really focus on that much. Hmm. I just wanted to throw his SP1. Don't really like dodging his SP2. There it is. There it is. Okay. And good. Got some charges. Got some health. Perfect. Yeah, I don't know. The stretch, um, I like the stretch looking better because if I don't stretch it, then it doesn't uh, doesn't fill up the screen very well. And that's okay. I just, yeah, I don't know. I'd rather have a little stretch than a big, like, missing chunk of screen so 
Well, thank you. <laughs> and thank you for the congrats, Mary. Yeah, I figured I'd dress up for today's stream. Maybe this might be the way I'm always look. Um, ooh, I'm at Infinity War, but you have Venom, so he's perfect for that. Wasp, I hate. But uh, Aggression, Regeneration, and Brawl. Oof. Those are both pretty hard. Dismay. Okay, it's not so bad. Though, the problem is uh, she'll evade me, but that's okay. It's better than the other one. Take down three. Oh, what'd you get, DJ? I hate my luck. I got Asian Venom. Oh, yeah, he's not, not all that great. But... He is good in Alliance War as a defender, so so I know he's not the most fun character to play in the world. But, um, oh man, DJ, I was hoping you get a really good character, but um, yeah, you know, there's always good in all these characters. Uh, I'm still listening, but working, so I can't watch. Oh, no worries, Meta. Well, thank you for listening. Um, man, Meta, you did such an amazing job as host um, on that stream with uh, Dreamin and Candy. I, I was totally blown away. I would say you stole the show. I mean, you were such a like fair, kind, smart, you know, you just dealt with all the like million and one issues. I mean, I can't imagine like, you know, of course, dream, dealing with dreaming is always like a, um, a challenge and you did such a great job. I was really, really impressed by it. So man, congratulations. That was really well done. And your questions were really good. Um, so yeah, it was amazing. So if you haven't watched, if people in here haven't watched, it's Dreamin' versus Katie Candy in in trivia, and Meta is the uh, is the MC, and so it was just an incredible, um, incredible stream. Really fun, incredibly fun. Oh come on, oh, that's why I got to do heavies. Okay, keep my uh, keep my what you call it up. Oh, I got to launch this SP3. Let's do one more heavy and SP3 and see what happens. Make it still your best five star. Yep, that's definitely true. You should dress like that every stream. Yep, you can see my collection of suits then. <laughs> so, I'll tell you my secret suits in a second. My secret suit strategy. Well, lots of easy to say in a second. Um, so, my secret suit strategy is I basically, so I have a little over 10 suits. And what I do is I will take out five of them and wear like on my Monday suit, my Tuesday, my Wednesday, my Thursday, my Friday. I'll basically do that for a month. That way I wear each suit, um, you know, four times. And you know, that's enough because I'm just sitting at work and typing emails and I have an undershirt on, so it's not like they get dirty. Um, and so, let me back of this fight and make sure I know what's going on, okay. And so yeah, that's the way I, uh, that's the way I like to sort of get the most use out of my suits without having to wash them after each use. And that way, no one's suspicious. Everyone, I think some people may have called on. I wear the same suit every Monday, but then like a month later, I change. So, okay, let's get um, let's get her. I'm just gonna parry twice, honestly, and get into invulnerable form, and then I'll worry about dealing with wasp. This wasp can be such a pain. Let's see how it goes. And this one, I could hit her once or twice. Okay, now I'm invulnerable, so it doesn't matter. I can be evaded all I want. Okay, yeah, this is definitely the right strategy. Doesn't matter. It's funny how she can block the first one. Um, I probably could have won the trivia challenge of Dream versus Katie, but I'm not certain. Um, yeah, actually, I was. I would have definitely lost horribly, but I think I wasn't as intimidated because I think there's a lot of questions they didn't know. Um, if I actually do this with Dream, and I'm going to study, and so. I'm stuck at five, act five, poo. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I was playing act five today, just because I had some extra energy and didn't know what to do. Just tell me once you need to, me to go into against that boss. Yeah, Iron Man Infinity War is not an easy fight. You have Proxima left, ooh, Proxima with very little. Um, yeah, I can, I'm sure I can take down this Luke Cage, I hope, I hope we'll get, um, Okay, Fallen, Bane, oh man, Bane, Bane with Infinity War, I'm the fifth one, no worries. 18, okay, so we gotta do some quick, some quick pairing and get her up. So 18, yeah, it's not gonna take too many pairings. I guess I can always activate her binary too. Just you know, watch my health. Okay, 22. Come on, 24, okay, one more. 
Okay, let's do the L2. Hopefully big damage, should be stunned. Go in there and just hit them as many times as I can. Okay, so oh, oh, I'm still indestructible. I might survive this, we'll see. Come on, oh yeah, look at that, 42%. Oh, Captain Marvel, you are so awesome. So awesome. Nice. Well, let's get a couple more hits in. Like this. Uh, she might actually do it. Uh, no, not gonna be close. It's gonna be close, but not quite. Yeah, especially if she does that. And she's dead. Okay, well, 16%. I think we'll be all okay. <laughs> um, we'll go in with Nick. I actually haven't used Domino yet. This is the first time I've used my Domino in in dungeons um, you know, with our synergies. The worst thing is I have to um, try to heavy attack. And put, uh, okay, oh, Paul, excellent. Okay, that's great, great strategy. I'm always learning about these things. Destructible, fine. Can okay, now you're destructible? And this should do it. Okay, there we go. Nice job, unnamed Umbracant. Good to run with dungeons. So, yeah, Captain Marvel. Great character. I guess that Nick Fury synergy helps a lot. Okay. Uh, conclude. Good, and we're done. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Where are we going? We're going to the 100th stream, the 100th episode. So, adjust up well. So, for those of you who are still in here, this is my normal streaming time. I usually like to do uh, 2200 uh, Central Europe time. Uh, I just did a little earlier today. Um, just to, I don't know why I did earlier today. Well, I had planned it a few days ago. Oh, no worries, I named Umbracant. No worries, always fun, always fun to do dungeons. Um, and so, so yeah, I, so I came on today at 2100. It actually worked perfectly because Brian, really thankful to him, he coordinated with me to, uh, you know, basically finish his stream. It's perfect because he finally, after, I don't know what it was, like four hours, of trying to do um, 6.2 item list, he finally um, he finally got a path done. I mean, it's not easy. It's incredibly difficult, um, and he was really uh, he was really having hard fights. And 6.2.5 fights are so hard. And then he finished um, finally finished one of his lanes, and I was like five minutes till I started streaming. I think you look great. Well, thank you, Gus. Thank you. Um, yeah, I know, I know. Maybe I have to start wearing suits all the time. It's, uh, I can't say it's the most comfortable thing to be wearing now in the evening, but uh, after, especially after wearing them all day. But maybe, maybe it will be the way, way to go for the future of the streams. So I just want to run my six stars. That'll get me to 14 mil, and that should be good. 200 subs, let's go. Yeah, I see a lot of people have subbed tonight. I'll just go through the list. Thank you, everyone. Smoggy, Robert, Daniel, Tyrone, Tyrone, Dustin, um, a few people yesterday, Jacob, M1, RRRS, Amps. Yeah, thank you very much, everyone who subbed. I really appreciate um, having subs, you know, trying to build up my stream. 219 subs, wow. If that's, oh my God, it's a huge increase. Super thankful, super thankful to Brian, too, for doing the banana raid. That's incredibly nice of him. Um, and so, yeah, it's, um, yeah, you know, of course, uh, would love to keep on building the channel more and more. I need to start doing some content. I must say, like, I'm really, really impressed by, like, Dream and, like, I feel like he's sort of been doing the same thing with his content, and the whole trivia is just absolutely brilliant. And so, really, really cool idea just to make him, his, uh, his stream super fun. Just give it something different, you know? It's like, there's a million streams out there, so it's good to try to find something that just makes it so yeah, interesting your stream. And Dap, same thing. I feel like Dream and Dap and I, I think they'd streamed before me, I guess. But, you know, I feel like we've all sort of started this at the same time. Um, and so it's pretty cool to see, um, to see what they're doing. And yeah, I think, um, yeah, I think having some type of really cool content is, is a great way to build your channel, obviously. Um, Let's see. 
I guess I've seen 193. <laughs> Just got here. This is one advantage of Agent Venom. I'm going to pull mean tiers and average champs before pulling a god tiers. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think where I'd rank Agent Venom. Yeah, it's true. He's 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 sort of low down on on the rank. I'd say he's in the bottom half. Um, but on the other hand, I mean, it's just yeah. Again, it's it's all a matter of of just time. It all comes around. Like you get some good champs and you get some bad champs, and hopefully it all evens out. Okay, can no longer stun him, so I'll just get hit by him instead. See if this kills him. Yep. Um. Yeah, you should have seen it, guys. I don't know. Um. So. My goal was really to get two six stars, and so I opened up the 100 Cavalier Crystals, and I got one six star Green Goblin, which, you know, it's fair, but he was new, so always excited to get a new champion. And then I just had made enough um, enough six star shards to open up another another uh, six star. And I opened it, I let it spin all the way, and it spun, and it looked like it was right about to stop on Deadpool X-Force, which would've been horrible. We've been a dupe, and yeah, I mean, Actually, I've sort of enjoyed playing with him. I've used him because I use him with my Nick Fury synergy. And so surprisingly, I've actually used him a fair bit than I would have ever have guessed. But um, I really didn't want to dupe him. But then it rolled over onto an Aegon. And oh, so happy. Uh, Aegon's such a cool champion. I mean, of course, he has to be awakened and all those things. But, um, but I'm super psyched to have gotten him. And I do have skill. That's what I have the most of in Tier 5 uh, Crystal Catalyst. So... So who knows, maybe Aegon will be my first rank three, which would be incredible. Um, the, yeah, yeah, having a couple of good five stars is pretty key, I agree, DJ. Um, Paul says, three five stars with Symbiote Spider, how are the duck? Oh, come on, like, oh, no. yeah, it's not so great a, a bunch right there. Ooh, put it between Thing and Quake, oh man. Oh, I wish you got a Quake, uh, you know, I've. I really want to learn Quake style, but I just uh, I feel like it's going to be too hard. That's a classic troll, exactly. They love doing that. Yeah, so many times you get like a champion, a terrible champion sandwich between two amazing ones just to make you buy more. But, um, but yeah, it will come. I mean, at least you have Omega. I mean, Omega is one of the, the best ones. and. Maybe that uh, awakening gem that we get in the calendar will be a mutant, and then you'll be absolutely set with your awakened five-star Omega. I mean, Omega, boy, he like absolutely like walked me through. Um, what was it? Uh, Six point one. I mean, there was like I would say probably seventy-five percent of the time I was using him. Um, let's see. You need to push for that feature to do your six star day one. I know, I know, I've been amazing. See, I'm named Umbacon. Some real life stuff for me. Yesterday, a bee decided not to like me and stung me in my forearm. In the beginning, it's swollen. I'm starting to itch. Uh oh, what happened today? Was it the size of your leg? Um, see a doctor. A recent Hulkbuster and Winter Soldier. No, Winter Soldier's not too bad. Yeah, I think it's pretty underrated. You have put his above average I mean maybe only slightly above average but I definitely think he's a usable champion um, my form was slightly swollen with a damage of 10 centimeters and more swollen center of three or four centimeters Oof. yeah bee stings I'm I feel like I'm waiting for the day when I like I get stung a couple of times a year and you know I, I hear you can become allergic to them I was waiting for exactly that to happen for my, like whatever my arm my leg my face to just swell up um, but um, yeah, I hope you feel okay. I hope you either went to a doctor or or it's better. Uh oh, I might die because these SP23 hits so hard. Oh, this is scary. Um, yeah, Switzerland's pretty good. There's not too many, too many uh, insects and things you have to worry about, but bees are definitely those. I'm trying to think. I mean, at least where I live, there's no mosquitoes. Um, yeah, bees, wasp. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, we have to fear no poisonous snakes. See very few serpents actually. Um, I guess we have lynx. I saw a lynx trap the other day on one of the trails I hike on. But I've never actually seen one. 
uh, chamois, which are like sort of like little miniature deer. They're very harmless. Um, I think once a bear from Germany like wandered in to Switzerland and then they quickly captured it and deported it back to Germany. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty pretty low on the on the uh, dangerous animals of Switzerland. So a good half of the inner side of my forearm is now quite red. Hmm. Yeah. Or go to the pharmacy, of course. Uh, but I don't know. I guess the pharmacies aren't open tomorrow. Uh, I can't remember. It's probably true. The pharmacies here, they're like um, they're like junior doctors in a way. Like you can go to a pharmacy and they, they diagnose you and they, you know, prescribe things for you. It's sort of a good way to go. Go to um to like a, a halfway between like having a doctor's visit or not. So I moved back to Switzerland. It'd been a long time. So I lived here very young. I really didn't remember it all. And then, um, you know, I came back in my adult life. And I remember like walking into the pharmacy the first time just because, you know, I had a headache. I just wanted to get some paracetamol. And I was like, oh yeah, this is what I want. And, you know, they interrogated me. They're like, well, what symptoms do you have? Like, how long have you had it? Like, where's the pain at? All these things. I was like, well, what are you doing? You know, I just, just wanted to buy some pills, but you know, I didn't realize like, you know, like that's the whole job here is to totally like analyze you, figure it out and give you the right thing. So, um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's, I mean, at first I was like a little like taken aback by it. I was like, well, this is weird, but now I'm totally used to it. So yeah, whenever I have things like that, you know, you just walk into the pharmacy and they, they do a pretty good job of, of figuring out what you need. We've opened 17 five stars, and it's a pretty good number. Um, and 17 five stars, yeah. One day, it'll be interesting to see all the ones. I think you sent me a picture of all the ones you have. I mean, other than Omega Red, you said you don't have any that are super great, but that's sort of the life at the beginning of this game is, you know, I remember playing a lot with, you know, pretty, pretty average champions for a long time. And in some ways it's sort of fun just because, you know, it's like, not everyone, you know, you're not using the same champions that everyone else is using all the time, too. You know, finally, through his SP2. Can't remember if you can punish her or not. Oh, you Vader. Yeah, the six star Mephisto, I like a lot. I think he's really cool. Um, really got to build him up to his SP3. That's Tylenol for we Americans, yes, exactly. Paracetamol, Tylenol. Um, I'm treating it and feel fine. It's already getting better, so no need. Yeah, those things are annoying. Like when you have you know, big red splotches on your body. Um, 16 five stars. Who was your one duped? And that Doc Ott. Uh, yeah. That Doc Ott was one of the trivia questions. Let's see if you can get this right. It was on the Dream and Katie stream. So I think the trivia question was, if he has no breakthrough active, what happens when he fires his SP1? And that was, uh, I don't think either of them got it. But this will test your your Doc Ops knowledge. It was a really good question. And yeah, I didn't know the answer either. I also am not a good Doc Ops player. Oh, I forgot to throw my eggs. I love his SP2. Let's get those next. Have some egg on your face, Iron Man. <laughs> Yeah, it is. The Toxic all armor is so cool. It's like, I can't remember what it does to be honest, but it's like he takes damage from his own armor. Is that right? But he's healing like crazy, so maybe that's not what it is. Doesn't matter, he's dead. Give you a minute to think, okay? Ah, uh, Loki. Uh, still, I'm surprised. I feel like I'm missing, uh, missing it, but I don't think we've posted our alliance quest yet. Nope, not yet. Um, just gotta keep an eye on that. He takes more damage the more armor buffs he has. Ah, that's awesome. Okay. Oh, it's perfect. I wonder if that works for his, uh, his, um, because he has so many passive ones. So he's either perfect or it doesn't affect him at all. Probably the second one, knowing the way things generally work. Reverse armor, basically toxic armor. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, it's cool that it's a buff. That way, you know, you can't, like, shrug it off. Oh, I'm so one to awaken that, uh, that Nick Fury. He'd be so great. Having two Nick Furies is nice because I use mine in Alliance Quest all the time, and then he's great in Alliance for defense. So having two would be 
it would be super, super nice. Yeah, great luxury. Uh, let's see. That looks all right. Oh, I should have, I guess neither of those guys bleed, so it doesn't matter. I believe it does work on passes. Ooh, if it did, I guess I will go back, could go back and look at that and fight. I snuck that in before it get heavy me. And I guess Captain Marvel, I can't remember, her sig ability doesn't seem to do too much. Huh, how come it's because of the, ah, oh, it's because of the energy damage. Ooh, boy, she built up her uh, binary charge, amazing. That must be obviously the cold snap was building up. So when she takes energy damage, she gains binary charges. Man, she's an Iceman killing machine then. That's pretty cool. Yeah, actually it'd be good to do trivia with Dreamin. I mean, I think, I was sort of thinking what I would do. I think I would, you know, you can sort the characters by alphabet and I would like go through them all, uh, like, you know, A through Z and just figure out, you know, just read their abilities, read their signature, read their specials, maybe even put it all in like a, a spreadsheet just because if I read it and then type it, it'll just help me remember it. Um, and that way, um, let's see if we can kill him before. This SP2 is usually pretty strong. Yep, I'll do it. Um, and that way I'll learn a lot about these characters. I mean, I would say I was really impressed by Dreamin. He, um, and Katie. I mean, they both knew so much. I mean, it helps a lot, you know, anytime you're fighting. Luckily, we can see the champions in war, and so, well, I guess we could just scout them in the old way, but, um, yeah, it's just good to know what each one can do, especially when you're, you're fighting an alliance war and things like that. Let's do it. Yep. Whichever, okay, let's see. Oh, nice. Ah, very good, DJ. Very good. You got it 100% correct. Yep. Um, yeah, I didn't know what it was. I thought it was Power Drain. I think, um, I'm trying to think what else this SP1 does. I think it also um, it refreshes, I think, if you have a, a um, one of those, what it calls breakthroughs complete. Does it do a Power Drain also? I think maybe it does. Yeah, I can't remember. Speaking of Doc Ock, so actually, let me just do this team. I was like, this is sort of my Ragnarok team right here. Now I'll jump back into Doc Ock. Enzo, hello, Arrow. Welcome to the stream tonight. So, just doing some arena, just trying to get up to 13, 14 mil, really, just to finish up this Iceman arena and get the 1 to 10%. We got all the milestones. Is uh ah yeah really been like you massacre. He's really hard on defense. Um, Brian was fighting him a bunch on his uh, his uh, his 6.2 run, and yeah, he's such a nightmare. I fought him a couple of times in war. I mean, the hardest thing about him is once if you're running suicides and you have debuffs on you, then he um and he has all this defensive accuracy, which just is uh, annoying because you can't parry him. You did miss it, Amiritos. You did. I'm sorry. I, I, I put in the in the chat, um, but um, yeah, I started at 2100, like my normal 2200 time. I decided that yesterday, and um, I also wanted to like go right after BG, and it all worked out really well. So I'll give you the recap. I did slightly better on average. I had I think 13 five stars, which is amazing. Got one new six star, which was Green Goblin. Then after that, I had um, had enough to open up a six star, and so I did. And it's rolled over from Deadpool X Force, which I already had. It would have been a dupe to an Aegon, which is fantastic. So, so yeah, it was a really, really successful opening. Um, we'd be opening separately. Um, you upload the opening separately. I probably won't. Um, yeah, nah, it's, I mean, you know, crystal openings, like all the streamers say it, and I sort of agree with them. I mean, they get the most views, but um, so, so, um, I guess, uh, I guess I like to watch them too, so maybe they're not boring. Maybe they are pretty fun. Uh, maybe I will. Um, 
Yeah, I guess, yeah, people do like him. I like him, so it makes sense. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Just hadn't even thought of it. Um, I mean, you know, I wanted to do something really cool for this stream. Cavaliers are, are good just because you can open a bunch and they don't, um, well, they're cheaper than featured, of course, but um, aside from six stars, there's not a whole lot of one. I'd love to get a Carnage or a Nihilus. I mean, there's always those. Well, actually, I should take that back. I wakened my Phoenix, which was amazing, and um, and I wakened Nightcrawler. I wouldn't mind keeping him unawakened, but uh, I guess it doesn't matter so much anymore now that you can't really switch him out so easily. Um, but yeah, the Phoenix was huge, to be honest. Um, been wanting to awaken her for a long time. And, um, <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right, Paul. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, absolutely. I'll, I'll, I'll put it. That makes total sense. Um, even Torch Pool gets even better considering you have a five star thing. Oh, nice. Did you just pull them? I love Human Torch. I just took mine to rank four today, to be honest. Um, I've been wanting to get him up to rank four just to play around with him. And so today, with the level up, and I finally had enough. Tier 4 basic, which is oh, I just, I can never have enough tier 4 basic. Plus, you're wearing a bloody suit, exactly, exactly. People are like, who is this guy? That would be great. Um, yeah, it's, uh, you're right. I should definitely just open up the crystal part. It was, uh, it was definitely the highlight of the stream when I wanted to do the stream. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, you know, I always open a few. Cavalier crystals just for fun here and there, but um, um, but yeah, I don't really intend to do a big opening like that until some some type of milestone. I mean, I probably will open future grandmasters. I won't open the next ones just because I already have Mysterio as um, as a rank five, and so I really don't want him again. Um, Sunspots, you know, I will. I'll wait. I might. I'll probably open some for Warlock. I don't think I'll be able to grind at all. And so, so it'd be good to get, to get Warlock. Actually, I think Warlock looks really cool. I'm a little wary that he's going to be an, just an okay champion. Why does everyone pull better things than me? That's what it always feels like. Yeah, I know. I know that feeling. I have that with, uh, with Dreamin. He and I open crystals together and he's always getting really good pulls. Um, BG3 news. Okay. I'll, uh, let's see. There's the AQ pass. Did we already start? 10.22. No, we just started. Okay, let me take a look at the AQ pass. Uh, ah, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Corvus Blade. Okay, let me jump into Alliance Quest real quick just to get started. So I'm going to have to blank the screen just for a minute. Let me do this final fight. Oh, thanks, Dreamin. Yep, I just saw it. Just saw it. I wonder what the global note is. Let's see. Let's finish this fight. My problem with Corvus and Blade is that one likes suicides and one doesn't, so it's sort of a little bit of pain, but I'll probably go without suicides because I, well, also depends on my AW fights. It's a friendly global. Ooh, good. Hopefully it's not a disaster. I know. There's been some ugly, ugly, uh, I've had some difficult times with Lion's Quest. I mean, there's some ugly lanes that are just brutal. Um, so six is the one I used to always take. I like six. Let's see, six, uh, eight, eight is fine, and 10, I can't remember 10. Okay, I'm just gonna blank the screen for a minute just so I can uh, just so I can go to Lion's Quest and not give away our prestige. This time you were involved, nice dreaming, nice. Yeah, you make a great officer, Dreamin. I mean, you really invest in the game. You know your 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 stuff as indicated by your two victories. And um, yeah, no, I, I'm really psyched to have you as an officer. I think you are you are very very good. So no, I'm sure I'm sure you uh, have made good choices and done well with figuring things out. So let's see, let's just spectate now. Okay, I think we're past the point of harm where. I will not show our prestige. So let me just double check. And let's see. Okay, no, it's just the map. So let's see. I got vision. 
Oh, this is good. I get a lot of Corvus charges. So prove yourself. I'll oh, prove yourself memorized. Oh, that's why it's such a pain to deal with. Especially. You just use Emma Frost. So these are all prove yourself mesmerized. This should bring it in. Okay, prove yourself mesmerized. Fine. I might not even bring in Corvus, to be honest. I got that Mephisto. He's fine. Okay, so that's that. And then let's see. Then I have eight. Eight is. Uh, where is eight? Eight is okay. The void's sort of annoying fight. But it's not too bad. Okay, the rest of the path is easy. And then 10, which is 10? Uh, how familiar I am with 10. Let's go look at our big map. 10 is. Let's see. 10 is. the map is like just hidden over what 10 is. Is it blue? Oh, is it the lower blue path? Is that 10? Oh, it's a, it's a do you bleed? That's gonna be ugly. I don't think it is. There it is. Oh, do you bleed? Oof. Now I really wish I had my Nick Fury. Maybe I'll take in my six star Nick Fury. It does so well. Six star doesn't hit quite as well, but with him and Blade, that's pretty good at assurance that it'll be alright. Um, 10 isn't do you Blade. Oh yeah, silly map. Just like the way it's projected, I just can't see what the bottom path is. Um, uh, 10. Oh, uh, it's green? Like, oh, why are you being so annoying? <laughs> I'm sure my face looks really close right now. Okay. Uh, it's sort of like a dark green. Is it the upper right path? Is that what it is? Is it this path right here with Yondu? Oh, this is like Corvus because I think it's oh, all or nothing. Ah, I thought it was shock. So all or nothing. Okay, buff the bridge. I remember that one. What are these? All or nothings. Okay, all or nothing, but that's fine with Corvus. He just usually eats those guys pretty well. Um, ten isn't do you bleed? It's the Two islands, the top part. Oh, is it two islands? Is it this right here? Oh. So, is it this one first? So, what do I have? What's yours is mine. The Narrow Defender has a weakness debuff applied to them. The Fury knows 109, 110. Okay, thanks, Dream. You are 109 and 110. Okay, there's 109. There's 110. Oh, wasp. Always. The test fighting wasp, what is this? Um, what's yours is mine? Okay, it's good because I have resonate. I always run to resonate, exactly. No, it's perfect. It's perfect. Good job, Dreamin. As usual, you are ahead of the game. Um, oh, so Vision's gonna, how do you do him with Corvus? So I'm gonna lose all of my hand special one. Okay, it's not such a big deal. And I guess I just got two hit combo him like 10 times or five times, okay. And then I guess I'll keep enough Corvus charges to kill him. Uh, maybe I should put on suicides because these first couple fights are all Corvus. I wonder if I bring in. I wonder if I uh, should bring in um, Proxima because she'll counter the evade, right? Uh, let's see, Omega Saber Void. Okay, and I also got my Warpath too. Try to think. Uh, if I bring in Proxima. That will give me a charge, and I think that will counteract these evades with Mesmerize. 7% chance to evade. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to bring Proxima just to deal with that evade. Okay, I think we've got a plan. So I am going to go put on Suicides just to be sure for this fight. So, boom, Suicides. I got the perfect lanes too. Nice! Nice of you, Otis. Yeah, see, I tell you, Dreamin, he's a really sweet officer. He's adding to our uh, to our hive mind. Um, yeah, and actually, I'll need these for Omega Reds anyway. So, 7 1 make, yeah, fine, because I'm going to need it for Omega for war, so it makes sense to go to suicides. I need to do, I do need to save some points for, um, for scouting, though, because I'm on that path, which I'll worry about that later. 
Um, well, let's see. Let's put it on suicide and see how many points I have left. I usually have enough points, I think, to get the scouting. Scouting with taters for it. Oh, nice. Boy, that's big time. It's like a council of, of the leaders. And there's that. And yeah, I don't know. Do I really want to take him Proximal for that one fight? I could take him Ghost Rider. That might be nice. Because then I'd have, you know, of course, against Void. Sort of tough fight against Void. Um, Ghost Rider is actually pretty good on Lion's Quest. And I, I can usually play around that Evade. I mean, I just like, just do three hit combos as opposed to anything else. Let's put three points here. Okay, so be pretty good. Should give me enough for scouting. Took us an hour. Yeah, I'm sure it will. And if not, everyone's good about adjusting. So, I don't, you know, I'm always... I think we're really good as Alliance about, like, when things don't work, figuring it out. Okay, perfect. And I can put the rest in proficiency. That way I can see what's ahead. I think I can actually awaken my Mystic. <clears throat> uh, unlock. Hopefully it's not Mystic. I uh, will put Point in Mutants. Uh, science, I always like to know for science just because of the Vade Champions. Cosmic or Mystic? Uh, let's go with Cosmic for now. I think I'm worried about more than Mystics. So a few Mystics. <clears throat> um, let's see, five stars and four stars. I just wanted you to know your preferences. Okay, I'll take a look. Um, but let me do my Alliance Quest fights. So let me just blank out the screen just because, again, I'm too worried about showing off our prestige. And then um, I'll hop into the Alliance War fight and get those done and then go back to the stream. Alliance Quest, I'm trying to think who should be my fifth champion. I mean my third champion. Um, okay, I think everything's fine now. Let me zoom back out. Uh, let's see, spectate. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I wonder who am I running with that vision? Like, I don't, like if someone else wants that vision more than me. Let's see who's that? It's lane seven. Who's on lane seven? The Grave is a Miratos and he's in here. Lane seven is uh, Art of Chaos. Um, yeah, maybe he wants him. Mm, let's just talk with Art real quick. Because if Art wants that vision, then I might, of course, I just put on suicides. I might go without Corvus, to be honest, which I do a lot. Um, let's see. Let's see what Art wants at Art. I don't really need Corvus for anything specifically. I don't need him for that lane. I mean, it's always nice to have, but that lane's fine with Blade and maybe even Namor. Um, and I don't need him for that, because that's just the weakness. Uh, Wasp. Uh, actually, yeah, okay. Um, Yandu game Blade. No, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, plenty of quarters for you there, yeah. Um, let's see, Articast, do you want the first vision? Um, if so, I will not bring Corvus. Um, totally up to you. Okay, let's see what, uh, let's see what he has to say. So let's get out of this. Yeah, I'm going to wait for him to decide. Um, okay, let's see. DJ, let's see what DJ sent out. He sent some pictures of his five and four stars. So Mega, Doc Ott, Captain Marvel. Oh, you have Psylocke. Psylocke is a very underrated champion. I think, um, I think you should play around with her some because I feel like if you learn how to use her well, I mean, she totally shuts down the power of other champions. And, and it's really, really useful, of course. Ultron, I've always loved Ultron. Um, yeah, Loki, he's he's okay. Uh, I sort of like Loki. I actually liked him when he first came out. I thought he was amazing because he's one of the first champions who had that um, that power gain. Let me go back to Arena one way for art. Um, and yeah, that power gain was pretty amazing. Um, actually, maybe I'll start War just to start moving my characters. And uh, Mega, Saber, and Void. Okay, Void this time. I, I totally screwed up last time. I bought in a Vision instead of Void, but this time it actually is Void. Let me just take a look at my path. Um, Salak is pointless. She already has. Oh, I guess that's true. If you play, you're right. If you play Dakot, 
Oh, no worries. Okay. All right, chaos is driving home. Uh, no worries. Take your time. Okay. So war, continue war, and spectate. So let's see. Yeah, I forgot you have Doc Ott. Oh, just look at the video I sent. Okay. So let's see. So we have, um, let's get the two mystery nodes. So it's a little scary, but I got the scouting on and three of the four masteries. Um, and then I go over here to path seven. Oof, Nick Fury, that's a pretty tough fight. Um, recovery vigor, oof, yeah. Probably going to be Omega Red. And then, who that one's also a little bit of nasty fights. Actually, I don't know what's good for her. Either, either a Void or a Mega Red. Uh, okay, I need to figure out those fights. Yeah, I tried Void against Nick Fury in one of those nodes and got clobbered last war, so a little bit worried, but okay, let's get the move on, because what I'll do is I'll move up to that first fight, wait till I have enough energy, and then boost and do all three fights. Let me grab my champions. Let's see, completed variant one today. Pulled my 82nd five star Human Torch, my 96 star OG Captain Marvel. Well, great for the Human Torch. He's awesome. I, I've always liked OG Marvel. I know she's not anything particularly good or special, but um, yeah, she's a she is um, great. He has Torch and AQ. Okay, that's not me. Okay, so really double check because I really screwed up so bad last time. So I'm Path Seven One Omega Saber Void. So Omega Saber Void, Path Seven One. Okay, yeah, I feel uh, feel terrible about doing such a poor job on last time. Um, continue. Yep, fine. Omega Saber. Yeah, it's pretty cool because Omega gets the two buffs both off void and of course the saber tooth one is crazy so okay i got all five energy but i think I still need one or two teleport over to a and then let's see how close this gets me to yeah i think i gotta wait just gotta wait a little bit okay science good no it's science and uh it's a six awakened okay my bed, oh, there goes my bed. My bed is a yellow jacket. Can't get out of there before I actually fight. So probably a yellow jacket. But um, I'm going to wait for one more energy. I just have to wait an hour. That way I can boost and go after both these fights. Okay, I think we've done all of our business. Um, and let's just go back to Arena. Um, okay, I think everything else. Just got to wait for Art, but he's driving home. So no worries. And then we'll jump into Alliance quest. Uh, so, uh, Rena, I think I just got finished up my six stars. Oh, actually I need to rank up my new six stars to use them. That's gonna be fun. Let's see. Uh, I'll go grab them. So nice says level event on right now, though I'm pretty close to getting the last milestone. I'm fine with those pools. Torch is great because of thing. Oh, it's true. Yes, true. Everything's better than duping your jugs. That is absolutely true. Mm -hmm. Let's see, got a lot of basic in here. Oh, look at all this. Maybe I'll go sell this real quick. That's why I need tech and nice so eight. I should I'll just sell it all. So, and now rank up Aegon. Yeah, Aegon, super cool. Of course, it really needs to be awakened and even high sig. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's like time of the six stars where you just want to start getting some really good six stars because at some point the resources will come in fast enough. <laughs> Jake Pink, <laughs> fancy looking. Yeah, I decided to dress up for the 100th episode. So yep, I went all out. I went, uh, went with the suit and tie. <laughs> I figured it was a spectacle, deserved a spectacle. Um, but yeah, it's, it's fun. Um, you know, as much as I think I would be hilarious to keep on doing this, um, yeah, it's, it's not that comfortable, so yeah, I might go back to my normal, normal wear for this. 
Uh, how close are we? Oh, we're about 7,000 away, it looks like that. Is that right? 21,000? Yeah, so there's no problem using another one. Okay. There's Aegon, as high as you can get. Um, let's see. 99% sure he ain't wearing pants. I have, they match the seat of Miratos. I showed off them earlier. Tie a D chair and everything. <laughs> yep, yeah, exactly. Um, top hat of Monaco, yep. You can see they do have matching pants. I am not wearing shoes though, Miratos, but you can see that they have the matching pants that go with the suit. Um, I always call this one my used car salesman. So it feels like it's a like what a used cars man would wear, selling you cars. Um, <laughs> hey, it worked, yeah, it sort of did, Jake. It's no worries. Okay, let's get, um, let's uh, sell all the rest of this and then we'll get some tech. I salute your commitment. <laughs> Disliked, oh no, oh no. Thank you, iChurch. Thank you. I really appreciate. Uh, I really appreciate your uh, your. Um, I don't know what to say. Your salutations, maybe. Used MCOC account seller. Oh, that's exactly. Oh, that's what I should be, Jake. Oh, that's incredibly clever. Yep. Yeah, I have a, an account. I'd love to sell you. No. <laughs> I feel like business interviews for my graphics. That, yep. Yeah, that's true. I should uh, should conduct interviews. Um. So as you were the only applicant, <laughs> you would get the job. Um, yeah, okay, just get him ranked up. So he gets some more points in arena. It's so nice. One, two, six stars is great. And then the second thing is, of course, um, I have the perfectly even six star team. I just like that so much. I almost like don't want to open six star crystals until I have three of them. And of course, you can't guarantee that you won't get dupes. Um, but um yeah i don't know something about having that even team of three. Oh, we can't be talking kabam might be listening that's true yeah i don't know i don't know if kabam pays too much attention to my stream so oh it's true you have a bomb in the nation i forgot yes he's been been involved a little bit with the graphics but but not too much um okay next series let's get this done let's get up 13.2 it's usually right around the cutoff might as well wear my six stars and then um and then i'll be set for for um ah, i'm using them both right here both i'll be set for the one to ten percent which is always what i sort of strive to get i'm sure they pay to anyone uh, maybe yeah that's true um yeah well if they do, I would feel more honored than anything else. Um, you know, it's funny because I always used to watch sort of like the big three, like Seton, uh, Brian, and, you know, sort of went from like Joel to Rich the Man. And then uh, and then there's, you know, a couple of like sort of the more popular ones, uh, Panama and Pete I was watching and Vex when he was on. Um, and then when I started streaming, I realized there's this whole other world of very, uh, a very small, small, um, what you call it, um, like small time streamers like Lord Shadow and Dap and, you know, I'm scared to say Dreamin' because he may take offense at it, but <laughs> less than a thousand subscribers. And yeah, it's all these really cool small streamers that, yeah, that's just fun to watch. Um, so I watch Lord Shadow a lot. Of course, I watch Dreamin' as much as I can. He's on a little early for me. Um, and Dap, I love watching Dap stuff when he's on. So yeah. Um, I would say, I would say being a streamer myself sort of opened my eyes to all the other like small time streamers there are. And so, yeah, it's just fun. You know, I have a group here that, you know, I say most of the time I have, I have a lot of the same people in here. It's just sort of fun to talk with the same people and see how they're doing and, and just hang out as I play the game and they, you know, do whatever they play the game or are eating dinner or <laughs> doing laundry or at work. So, yep. yeah, that's great. Uh, let's see, would you be interested in hiring a garbage programmer as well? If so, you can conduct a no pants interview with me at any time you want. <laughs> that sounded wrong. Oh, yeah, it does. Sounds like a, one of those job interviews that you uh, <laughs> get by maybe not being skilled at what you do, but other things. 
I love what we watched in the first video with my graphics. Ah, uh, yeah, I need to look at that one. Uh, I remember, as I was going through all my streams today, I could definitely see where they changed. And it's so funny, I remember when you offered it, I was like, I was like, sure, you know, I really didn't, I didn't think anyone would ever actually like, do graphics for me, so I was sort of like, just shocked that someone wanted to do them. And then when you started making them, oh man, they were so cool. Actually, I really, I know you don't like it as much, I really still love the very first one you made, Tron City. I think that one's just so cool. Um, but uh, yeah, I can tell your skill is growing. Um, let's see. I started watching with lags and then you blew up after NYCC a little bit in K2. But I refused to sub to Seaton. Yeah, Seaton seems to be the most uh, most divisive. It's like people seem to either love him or hate him. Um, let's see. Katie is hacking Enzo. Yeah, lags. Yeah, I watched him, of course. Uh, he's always good. I actually still really like his videos. Um, I actually really enjoy how how like enthusiastic he is. <laughs> um, you know, he's always really psyched on the characters he's playing. I love his Human Torch stuff. I mean, he he just always likes likes um likes sort of different characters, sort of than most people do, which is really cool. Brian's sort of the same. He also has, you know, I think um, you know everyone loves Omega and Ghost and all those, but um, yeah, it's cool. And KT, of course, KT has absolutely exploded. I mean, he makes incredible videos now. And his stuff is really cool. But those are all like the big time streamers. Uh, who is Dreamy? Never heard of her. <laughs> yeah, well, Dreamy, he is like a acquired taste in the streaming world. <laughs> um, yeah, Shadow is extremely underrated. I know, I really like Lord Shadow. Um, yeah, I mean, he was talking about getting a face cam too. I, I think that'd be amazing. I know he's a little bit worried about it, and, and I understand that. I had the same fears, you know. You definitely put yourself out there a little more. But um, but no, I think uh, I think it'd be great if he had a face cam too. But yeah, he's just such a nice mellow stream, and 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 just one of those for me. It's a good time because you know it's usually right either towards the end of my day at work or right when I finish work, so I can come home and can just turn on a sort of background noise as I do things. Um, let's see, work lurker, guilty. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, I need to train Brian to like um. Like when I give him a certain cue to uh, to start talking in Swiss German and, and talk about like Swiss banking regulations just for like five minutes that way anyone who walks by me just thinks I'm listening to some type of like informative uh, um, informative like uh, business review for my job and <laughs> not that listening to a video game <laughs> but um, yeah he's right when I start work um, let's see Odanic saying Lord Shadow is pretty great. Wish he would stream more and blow up his channel. He is doing pretty good. He just got into the content creator program, which he really wanted, so I'm really psyched for him. Um, he wants to stream four times in a day, wow. Yeah, he he comes on, I, I know every time zone is different. For me, it's usually like uh, 1800 or 1900 is usually the time he is on. So it's sort of right before my stream. So in the trivia, with Dreamin, that purple heart that Angela has is one of the questions. Um, you do, GJ, come on. You don't like to see my face. <laughs> I hate lags and Seaton in the worst. Um, actually, I like Seaton. I think he's I think he's fine, and I really like lags, too. Um, used to like him, but then he became a conceited <laughs> Um I mean, he definitely has, like, sort of that edge to him, which I can see how people wouldn't like that. But, uh, no, I... He was the first person I really started watching seriously, like so long ago. So of course, he has a soft spot in my heart. Um, I mean, daily. I know his schedule doesn't permit going full time. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, boy, going full time as a YouTuber is definitely a commitment. It's pretty cool if you can do it. Hey, hey, Cam. What's going on? Just doing some arena, opening a lot of crystals, and. Just waiting to see what Art wants to do in Alliance Quest and one hour to get enough energy to do my first two fights in war. Hopefully this war goes better. Oh, what a disaster last one. And I was definitely a big part of that disaster. Um, so, yeah, I definitely got to do things off stream um, just because, yeah, I think the stream, you know, playing and talking and not concentrating enough. So, so I mean, that wasn't like, all the problems with my war, but some. Um, let's see, Paul, you don't. Um, 
Yeah, it's funny, DJ. I think everyone looks good on, on YouTube. So it's like everyone I've seen them, I was like, ah, I mean, you know, we're all just normal people. It's not like any of us are glamorous superstars or models. You know, we're just normal people. And so normal people look like normal people. So I don't think, I don't think, uh, I don't think you'd have to be worried about, about people. Um, what you got? Like, worried about your looks. Uh oh, the stream might end soon because I'm at 5% battery. Um, I would say that, um, um, yeah, that's why I really like the, the Comic-Con, the Sumner Showdown, like seeing Chunky and, and all those people. I mean, it's such a game for normal people. I mean, um, and Duck Slug. <laughs> it's just so cool that, that we all are just playing this game and enjoying it, and there's this big community around it, so. Much to love about this game. Um, let's see. Do you have Kanger Thanos? I do not. Um, I tried opening some of the gifting crystals, I think, for Kang, but not that many, but it's like a 1% chance. Maybe I opened 50 of them, but I didn't get them. Uh, maybe it's even less of a chance. Uh, Thanos, uh, I think the only way is getting Legends run in various events, and I have not, not gotten him. Um, would love to get him. There's some things in this game, like some things you can buy. But there's some things in this game that are still really skill based. I would say getting the Legends title, though, tends to be less now. And um, and also um, getting the, uh, yeah, well, the Legends for the Axe are really impressive. And so, yeah. So if you get a Thanos, I think you really have earned it. It's like, yeah, something you just can't do. Let's see. You look like a combination of prof off and lags. Hmm, that's not so bad. 11,000 views. Woohoo. It can't be on this stream. I must be in something else. <laughs> Dreamin looks like a superstar and as well as D43. Hmm. I'm just sure D43. Yeah, Kato is a great looking man. No doubt. Yeah, I miss him too. He pops up in chats every now and then. He'll be at New York Comic Con. So, so we'll see him. Just do it time shy. He said some stuff that really pissed me off. Not everyone and their mother can play a game all day and spend thousands on it to be as good as he is, only to turn around and insult. Um, people can't do a fight in Act 5 or 6. Yeah, that's true. I mean, again, I, I, you know, I've watched Seated enough. I know he can be... Uh, I've seen him be sort of like uh, mean a few times. Yeah, it's never good to see. Like, there's this one time a long time ago, he got... Someone had like commented on his video with their video um about quake how quake should be i guess in his god tier and yeah his response was a little bit too much i mean i think uh i think well yeah i mean it's just the way he is but you know for me i just accept people and i i know that some people have more of an edge to them um yeah i agree i mean you always want to treat i feel like everyone like i really appreciate everyone who watches my channel jake and and um and yeah i hope it's Hope it's fun for them, you know, in the acts. <laughs> yeah, I agree with Jim. Totally gotta be nice to your viewers. <laughs> Even Jim is nice to his viewers. <laughs> Which just tells you something. Um, how's our war going? Are we up by 10 kills already, I hope? No. Yeah, the whole prof thing need he had, but it's not what I like heard a couple of days ago. Yeah, again, yeah, I've seen season B, I would say, at times when he's gone a little too much for various things, but yeah. Yep, he, yeah, again, yeah, I mean, I accept that he does that sometimes and, and can live with it, but absolutely understand if it rubs you the wrong way, you don't know, like it, then yeah, there's no reason to, to watch it. So that's the nice thing about this too is, I mean, there's so many different streamers out there. You can find exactly who you want to watch. Um, and yeah, that's uh, yeah, it's one of the great things about this community. Nice is a very loose term when talking about Dreamin. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But see, that's what I like about Dreamin. Like, I appreciate him and all of his uh, all of his wit. And so, so even when he's being sort of, sort of what you call it, I wouldn't say mean, but like, I'd say very critical. Uh, it always comes from a good place. Yeah, I'm super excited to hang out with all the four Loki in the New York Comic Con. It's gonna come up so quick. I should go buy my plane ticket. I meant to look today and see. You know, I've sort of been waiting. So plane tickets are so funny. I would like to see whatever matrix they use to come up with the uh, 
with the price for them. Um, usually to the States, you can get a reasonable price. Like if I'm lucky, uh, like 500 US dollars would be the cheapest, but um, at this time of year, that means like in October, so it's a very like sort of low travel time. So I'm not too worried. So if I can get one for 700 US dollars, I would be really psyched um, because that's a, a good price. Geneva to Newark. DJ, you can't be younger than Zoe. He's 14. <laughs> if only I was so young. You'd have to flip those numbers around and add seven and then you'd be right. Uh, younger inside. Oh, no worries, Jake. No, totally fine. Um, no, it's all right. I mean, it could, uh, I think everyone's entitled to their opinions and and again I know that there's yeah and well what more can I say you're more than welcome to rant <laughs> it's totally fine 48 yes correct I am 48 years old no. I was born 1970 but luckily my my birthday is into the end this defense is see I just got tagged real quick oh, it's just my path I already knew that okay yeah, we gotta do well. I gotta do well in this, in this war. No deaths. That's absolutely what I need. Um, yeah, my graphics are totally DJ's doing too, Jake. He's, and he's totally done this out of the goodness of his heart. I've been so appreciated. Oh, well, thanks, DJ. Um, yeah, I think it's like playing this game. Lots of biking, lots of hiking. Keeps you young. It's a good Swiss living. I'm sure if I was in the United States, I would like... Uh, you know, weigh 200 kilograms and, <laughs> and look like I was 20 years older than I am. Um, for me, streamers are important. Yeah, I know. Playing in the background. Yes, yeah, totally the way I am too. I, you know, that's what Brian it, it was so great for us. You know, um, just having him on and listening to him. I thought you were 28. Oh man! But thank you very much. I feel uh, I feel honored that people think I'm so young. <laughs> Dreaming didn't. He still thinks I'm 57 or something like that. Um, oh, thanks. Ah, oh, no, no, I'm definitely much older. I mean, that's sort of the funny thing too. Like, you know, actually, Lord Shadow and I, I think are exact same age. We we're both born in 1970, and you know, all my life I enjoyed playing video games. But then um, after university, I stopped playing them. I sort of got out of them. I just didn't have any fun. Um, you said 57. No, I never did you. Um, your father's two years younger than you. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised. Um, but um, yeah, and, and then every now and then I played. You know, I would like download an app with a game and maybe play it for like a week or a month. I never really played games seriously again. But then, I mean, I guess it's almost three years ago now. I think it was the summer of 2016. I, like downloaded this game. I saw it was like an editor's choice and like, you know, on the Apple store. And man, I was like, oh, this game's so much fun. I really didn't play it too seriously because like, when we first pick it up, it's such a confusing game. Like all these different modes. Like I had no idea Arena. I was like, this is the dumbest thing ever. Um, just because you're know, just playing these fights. I didn't know about the infinite streak. So after like 10 fights, I'd always die. And so, so yeah. But then I discovered the streamers. I actually discovered uh, Joel and Seaton. I remember they talked about Brian a lot. I was like, who is this Brian guy? You know, I just had no idea who he was. I just never even looked at him. Um, but then, you know, watching Seaton and Joel, I was like, oh, this is how you play this game. And this is what you do. And all of a sudden I was hooked, you know, started buying crystals, joined an alliance. You know, I, for a long time I didn't join an alliance. I was just like, oh, this is too weird. And then, yeah, and then then this happened. Now I'm totally hooked on this game. You know, play it way too much, but love it. Love, love the community, love being in cool alliances. And yeah, it's been super fun. So, so yeah, at the ripe old age of late 40s, I've discovered video games once again. And... Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I could play any other video games. Like I see people playing Fortnite. I don't know if I'd really like that. Something about this game is just so cool. Uh, Jake, I'm a lurker. I'm not just a people person. The peeps are, um, interactions are just. Oops, and my game just died. Sorry. Well, that's the end of, of this. Of course, it's a uh, dream. is nine. Dream is forty-one. No, I think he's younger. I think he's just still a young man. So. 
Sorry everyone, I totally have lost battery power and you know, to be honest, 2300 is about the right time to stop the stream anyway. And so, so I'm the opposite, I sound old, but I'm young. But thank you all very much for joining me tonight. Um, this is like a really high number of people watching for me, so I really appreciate everyone who's come in. Appreciate Brian and just hang out a little bit more. <laughs> Great story. Moral is games are for all ages. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, but um, no, this is this is going to be it. I also want to get into Alliance Quest and Alliance War. And as I said, I need to do these off stream because I need to actually really be concentrated and not be worried about everything else. Um, so I'm, I'm on. I'll go back to my normal time, 2200 Central Europe time. And so please feel free to stop by any time. I'll continue my stories of life on the next stream. 101 it will be. So thanks everyone for watching. This is Enzo Eigen of the Lions for Loki. Wishing everyone Bonsoir, Guten Nacht, and good evening. <laughs>